What up, nerds? Just playing. Y'all know the drill by now. Y'all are not nerds. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Gunny Money here. Coming to y'all again here with another star studded movie review. And if you're new here, please like and subscribe if y'all haven't already. And please smash that follow button. We're almost at 1K. We're almost there. So. If you don't mind spreading the word, it would truly mean a lot. It's zero point zero zero dollars. The biggest bargain you could ever ask for. So, without further ado, skadoosh. What did I say? Oh, skadoosh. I watched Kung Fu Panda 4 the other night. And let me be the first to admit, it was okay. It wasn't like the other three, but... I still enjoyed it. The animation in the movie felt slightly off. I read something on Twitter that there was like a $85 million budget for the whole movie, but I had to play a part in it. And The Furious Five, they were only in it for like 30 seconds without any lines. And all three villains are back, and one of them gets the most dialogue. Yes, all three villains from the previous three movies are back. Tai Lung, Lord Shen, and General Kai. They couldn't get the other two actors from the two previous movies, Lord Shen and General Kai being played by J.K. Simmons, but seeing Tai Lung be back after 16 years was beautiful. Tai Lung! has to be one of the greatest villains of all time. Like, just his intimidation and swagger factor in his story. You, you just can't go wrong with him. And to see him back was awesome. This movie, as far as it goes, is about change, so to speak. It starts off with Master Shifu, played by Dustin Hoffman, wanting Poe to find a successor as the new Dragon Warrior. Like, as, as hard as Poe did not want to give it up, it, it didn't feel like it stayed with the storyline. Here's the thing though, Jack Black as Poe, one of the best characters there is. I found out the other day that Poe has ADHD, so to have a cartoon character that I can relate to is pretty freaking cool. Can we talk about the cameos in this movie? But not just any certain cameo, that cameo. The Panda Pig was played by none other than Mr. Freaking Beast, the dude off YouTube. Like, I had no idea. Mr. Beast will be doing whatever the heck he wants. I feel like, as far as it goes for the movie, Tai Lung did have plenty of dialogue. That was the one thing I was really worried about, because as far as movies go along, it tend to get worse and worse. But for some movies, that's not the case. To see Tai Lung take on all of the chameleon's monsters and the chameleon herself, and then getting thrown into his cage before Poe gets there. It was dope to see him back in action. Bodaciously awesome! The parts where the chameleon was changing into the character she wanted to shape the shift into was cool, but creepy. Although, this movie definitely wasn't the best of the franchise. I still really enjoyed it. 
I was out with my cousin on opening night, and I had to do this, Mom, but... <laughs> That's good, huh? I already put some earrings in here and everything. One of the funniest parts of the movie for me was when Master Shifu declared he was a red panda. Jin, played by Aquafina, was talking to Master Shifu and Poe, and Jin called Master Shifu a red squirrel. And then Poe was like, you're a red squirrel? And then Master Shifu goes, I'm a red panda. Last thing about Tai Lung, I feel like he's finally at peace about not being the Dragon Warrior. You see the part where he's walking up to Poe at the end of the movie, and he's like, maybe Uguay was right about you. Like, that's a whole nother level of respect right there. As much as he wanted to be the Dragon Warrior in the first movie, to now, significant character development. So go check out Kung Fu Beta 4. This movie's fun. I will admit, could have been better, but it was fun. So, I hope all y'all like this video, and if y'all like this video, please like and subscribe if y'all haven't already, and please smash that follow button if y'all haven't done so either. It was really me a lot, trying to get to 1K by the summer, and I, any subscriber I can get is always appreciated. I have a dope Tessie week this week. I got spring break this week. Pretty dope and excited about that. And as always, please make sure that you follow any boy on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that. Get the money out. Peace. Love y'all 3000. Later, nerds.